Howdy there. Okay, uh, I've uh, taken a little time off from making the air graver and uh, stopped to build another pneumatic uh, engraver or graver. And the reason I did that is two two parts. Is I uh, had a gentleman uh, emailed me or, or uh, text me on my Facebook, uh, my bench jeweler, and uh, he didn't quite understand how any of it worked. And uh, uh, there's so many uh, wonderful uh, videos out there that show how these work. Uh, but he uh, he uh, wanted uh, me to explain it to him. So what I did is I actually built another one. Uh, I'm not happy with the uh, with the uh, pulse uh, gravers. I don't think they have uh, the poop to uh, do do the job like uh, some of these. Uh, uh, well, like the Lindsay Graver, uh, that's a that's a, a whole different game. But uh, and maybe I'm uh, expecting too much out of the Graver, and I really don't know. I don't know how. I don't have any way to test uh, a different one right now. And uh, I'd I'd like to see how somebody else's works on my little compressor. What you're looking at down here is a little tire compressor, air compressor. You take the reed valves out of that and uh, put it back together, and that gives you your push pull for your pulse in in the uh, uh, pneumatic graver. And then there's a spring inside of here that allows the piston to go up and down. So this handle here I made oh, over a year ago, and uh, this was my uh, first first uh, pulse graver right here. Might have been my second one. I might have threw a couple away, <laughs> but but I, I I end up making about six of them before I get one right. But that was my first one here, and then uh, the other day, uh, oh three days ago here, I made this one here, and uh, it actually performs about the same as this one. I thought maybe this one was so roughly made that uh, the pistons weren't moving smoothly enough or something like that in that nature. Or I, you know, who knows? But uh, this one here, I don't think performs much better. So now this one here uh, was my second attempt for a uh, air graver using a piston system. Uh, do I have a piston? Yeah. Here's one of the pistons, and uh, the air goes through through here, and then it goes through a sleeve, and then it pushes, reverses the uh, the uh, pressure, and pushes the piston back up. It's a unique, simple uh, uh, push-pull type uh, graver too, but it supposedly works about five times better. Uh, this is my newest one, and this is as far as I've gotten with it. I don't have the piston for this. I haven't drilled the hole, and I don't have a handle for it yet, but that's coming up next. This was my old one. This is an air-driven or an air, air, air graver. Uh, it worked, sort of, but I had... Missed the, uh, I goofed up on the threads. Did I just didn't build this right at all, so I, I dumped it. This was my very first attempt of an air graver, and I, again, I wasn't watching what I was doing, so I started over on that one. So that's about where we're at, and I'll, uh, I'll put a highlight on how I built this one. Uh, it's really, these are really simple, uh, although they, 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 they do uh, chew up a little bit of time to do them. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this video up so you can see it, and then I'll make a highlight of what I did on this one here, and that's kind of why we didn't finish the uh, the newer graver, the air graver here. Uh, this one's considerably different. I've been experimenting. Uh, this one here is uh, 7 16 I think, and this one is a half, so you can see the difference in, th in the thicknesses. So I'm, I'm hoping that this will work better when I get her finished. So, as always, I do appreciate you watching, and, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry. What I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna turn this one here on, and we'll show you the what's what's going on here. All right, I've got her on. I've got her resonating. Uh, you can hear it running. And that's about all I can get out of this. I just don't feel like I'm doing something right there. But uh, I'll go ahead and run a piece of engraving for you. Like I 
said, I don't have anything to compare this with. Uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like you're, you're going to get very far with this kind of engraver. So, and I'm kind of wondering whether the GRS system it works any better than these. Could be that I need a bigger uh, air or tire compressor that has a bigger piston in it. Something like that, maybe. I could spend hours guessing. I just don't feel like it's worth it. Of course, I think I broke the tip on this, and but it, it works anyway. So but you can you can see it. That's the piston going up and down in there. Darn if I know. I don't uh, sure like to figure out something though. But anyway, we'll go back to the uh, air graver and see if I can finish it up and make it work. <laughs> I, this is about three or four months of playing around with this stuff. I'm going to have to stop and get some clock and jewelry work done one of these days. So, thanks for watching.